Umar, it's Tuesday, fight week's just started. How are you feeling? I'm good, ready to go. Uh, I'm excited because it's my first six rounder on a good card as well. So all the hard work's been done now, just uh, ready to go now. As you said, your first six rounder, have you been approaching training different with that? You know, a bit more work maybe on stamina, for example? To be honest with you, uh, we always train like for six rounders, you know, because uh, the, four, the four rounders, they were kind of just like, we just got them out of the way. So it was always, we've always been prepared for six rounders. So it's exciting now that I can actually put it into play and I feel like I could showcase my skills a lot better. Do you feel this is like the first step up in your career? The first time you're going to the next level to show people that you're more than capable at this level as well? Yeah, I think it is because we got uh, we got quite a decent opponent as well, Angel Gomez. So he's you know his game, he's coming, he's coming to win. So yeah, it is. So I'm excited. I'm excited. And I'm looking forward to showing people what I can do. Is this the level you wanted to be at this part of your career? Do you feel maybe you're actually a bit behind where you want to be, or maybe are you a bit faster than where you wanted to be? To be honest with you, I'm not really in any rush because like I'm still young and it's only my full fight. So we're kind of just taking things slowly, slowly, but. As obviously the years go on, I'm going to showcase what I can do, but we're not in no rush. You've not been in the ring for a little bit now. Is there also part of you just wants to get out there as quick as possible and showcase your skills? Yeah, that's it. I think it's been about seven. I was meant to fight in March, but that didn't really fall through. That kind of fell through, sorry. So yeah, I'm excited now, ready to go again at the Copper Box. So that's it. How's training camp been going for you? Has it been smooth sailing? You know, Are you feeling better than you've ever felt before? Are you feeling stronger than you've felt before? Yeah, so I train out in Spain, so it's hot there as well, so it's nice, so yeah, it's been good. We train really, really hard, good sparring, we travelled around uh, around Spain quite a lot with loads of different guys, so it's been good. It's been one of the best, you know, everyone says it, but this has actually been one of the best camps I've had. Do you feel about going abroad, it kind of helps you as well, just to take everything out, you know, not having any distractions, you can really focus on your craft? Yeah, 100%, because... Uh, I feel like in London back here, there's like a lot of distraction and a lot of like uh, a lot of stuff goes on. So I think being over there, being away from family, you feel like you're making a sacrifice as well. So it's good. Often people say, you know, boxing is a sport with so many sacrifices that you have to give, you know, to, to make it to a higher level. Oh, but are you happy now to be back home, back in London, ready to do your work? Yeah, it's nice. Back with the family, back in London, which is London is my home. So, yeah, it's nice to be back. And when you come back, what's the first thing you want to do? Is it get back to the family cooking or how's it been? Well, yeah, I would like to get back to the family cooking, but obviously we've got to make weight for Friday so we can enjoy that after Saturday. And um, on Saturday, what kind of a performance can we, can we expect from you? Uh, you know, what, what are we going to see? Is it going to be you running out as quick as possible, trying to get a quick stoppage? Or do you want to take your time, get a few rounds, learn from your opponents? I'm not going to say nothing crazy, I'm not going to make no predictions, but I think it's just going to be a good boxing performance, that's it. And now that we've, we've seen you only a few times, you know, you're a young fighter, but is there certain areas that you're working on? Maybe you say, I want to work a bit more on my power, work on certain shots, and are you seeing this come to terms, that you're seeing these performances get better and better? Yeah, 100%. I think with all three fights, I felt like I've improved. And one thing is my power, which no one's really seen my power yet, but... I feel like that was with the four rounds I kind of had to rush and like, like in my head I knew I only had four rounds so I kind of rushed things but I feel like now it's only two extra rounds but it makes a big difference so I feel like I can show my power and break the opponents down a lot better. Do you think by these six rounds and you know as you said you've got a very game opponent is that going to show the fans a better version of you that you know you had inside but it's going to allow you to you know move differently, act differently? Yeah, 100%, because I feel like mentally knowing that I've got six rounds now, I feel like I'll be a lot calmer and a lot more relaxed and I could definitely showcase my skills a lot better, not just like aggression and stuff. Now I want you to picture the end of Saturday night. What, what, what image is in your head? Is it an easy victory or are you going, oof, that was a tough one? What, what are you picturing in the head? Hopefully a good victory, hopefully a lot of lessons learned, because you know you've got to learn from each fight, because that, that's at the stage, that's, that's the most important thing, learning and just a lot more experience in the bag. With this type of opponent, is this something you specifically asked for? Say, I want someone tough, I want someone durable, or is it just, I'll take whatever they throw at me, it is what it is? That's it, whoever, to be honest with you, I just leave it down to my manager, Andy Ailing, because I trust them, so just whoever they feel is right, I just go in there and do the job. And then going in, as you said before, it's been seven months away. From now on, do you want to go out and be out as much as possible, learn as much as possible from these kind of fights? 
Yeah, hundred percent. Because at the, at the, like, especially because I'm young, I'm lucky that I have these years to learn. You know, most fighters they start late, and you know they kind of, you know, they don't because it's completely different to amateurs. So yeah, hundred percent. I just want to get the momentum going because I have, feel like I haven't really had momentum in my career. So I feel like I want to get the momentum going and slowly, slowly just keep learning and gaining experience. Like you've moved to Spain, you know. Hamza's moved to America, same, same ideas. Obviously, it's his card. He's the headliner for the first time. What can we expect from Hamza? Uh, I think it's going to be another explosive performance. You know, he punches so hard, he's strong, and he's like the most dedicated fighter I know. So I think another explosive performance from him. Do you feel that you can look at someone like him, you know, who's close to yourself, and say, I can learn from him and take things and um, use it in my own game? Yeah, 100%. Obviously, where I've been around him since I was young, so like, all of this, like everything, it's like it's nothing new to me because I've seen it all before, like being around him. So 100%, I've learned loads from him, but obviously he has his style, where I have my style. You know, we're, complete, we're two completely different fighters, but we can I can still learn in like many different aspects. Well, do you have any last message for everyone before Saturday night? That's it, I just want to thank everyone that's bought a ticket, everyone that supports me, all my team, and that's it, I'm going to put in a good performance. Well, we can't wait, and we wish you the best of luck. That's it, thank you, I appreciate it.